Good morning. We are back in the kitchen and we are getting ready to make a cheesecake. Mm, yeah, a cheesecake. So, this is no ordinary cheesecake because the crust or the bottom of it is going to be brownies. Now, I'm using a brownie mix. You could use homemade brownie mix if you wanted to this is my last one that I have in the pantry and I'm going to use it up and that's what we're going to make our crust with our bottom with so let me go grab the other things that I need and we'll be right back all right, to my bowl, I've already added three tablespoons of water. You're just going to follow the package directions for the brownies. And now we're going to put in two-thirds cup of vegetable oil. I said I was. If I can find... I can't see. <laughs> okay, there we go. Y'all getting old sucks. I can't see nothing. There we go. I can see the line now. <laughs> Seriously. Two-thirds cup vegetable oil. And two eggs. There's one. And it... If you've been here a while, you know my eggs are room temperature. That's just how I roll. All right, so there's that. We're just gonna mix this together. Now, I don't know. The original recipe calls for, it says a 440 gram package of brownie mix. Mine's a little bit bigger. Mine is a family size. So, what I'm thinking is, if I see it's going to be too thick, then, you know what, I'll just make a pan of brownies or something, or some brownie muffins or something like that out of the excess, and all will be good. We'll see. We shall see. Yeah, Y'all, I'm loving these glass bowls. I just am. So when we got up this morning, it was a brisk zero degrees outside with a wind chilled, wind chilled, <laughs> wind chill in the negative. It was cold, okay, it was cold. But it is warming up. It's supposed to be right at freezing today. So, woohoo, maybe we can get rid of some of this before the um, next round hits tomorrow. I'm really hoping they, they've just looked at that wrong and, you know, they're seeing things that ain't there. That's my hope. That's what I'd like to happen. All right, we've about got this licked. There we go. See a little bit of dry right there. Let's get that mixed in. And then we should be good. All right. So there's that. I'm going to set that back over there for just a second. We're going to pull this up here. And we are going to spray this. I'm going to use some Pam cooking spray. And I want to go. Wouldn't you know I'm going to run out right here when I need it. All right, there we go. Well, I'm putting that back up in the cabinet. Now, let's see how, if we're going to use all this or how it's going to go. Let's just see what we can do. I think I'm going to be able to use it all. I think. Let's set that right there for just a second and kind of Spread this around. Yeah. I'm just going to use all of it. We're just going to be little rebels today. Yes, we are. 
Does that tell we roll? I got notifications several times today that my power was out. <laughs> and I'm sitting here and I know the power is not out, but the electric company is sending me notifications, hey, your power's out. <laughs> Paps had to go back to work this morning they didn't uh, go in until later and uh, so he and I were on the phone <laughs> I said well the power company's telling me my power's out and he said well is it and I said no <laughs> it's not it's on all right oven is preheating to 350 this is all mixed up and ready to go in the oven we will have this in the oven for approximately 30 minutes and then we'll take it out mix up the top mixture get it put on and then it'll go back in the oven y'all this is gonna be so good so good so good so let my oven finish heating up I'm gonna clean up my little mess I've got going on here while it's doing that and then we'll be back all right here we go in the oven. I'm wondering if I should set this on like a cookie sheet. I think I will. I think I will. Ooh. Just because. I think I will. So, let's grab that. We'll put that over here. Like that. There we go. I feel much better about it now. Alright, into the oven. 30 minutes. If I don't drop it off the sheet. There we go. Set the timer. Now let's go find something else to get into. Alright, as you can hear. Lord, that's annoying. Okay, let's turn that off. <laughs> let's get our brownie out of the oven. It's been in there 30 minutes. Time for it to come out. Y'all, let me grab another pot holder. See if I can get this to pick up. Look, yum. All right, so we're gonna set this back there. We're gonna drop the temp down on our oven to 325. Go ahead and get that started. Let me go grab the stuff that we need for our other mixture. Let's get this cheesecake on. All right, so I've got everything out here. Y'all, this is gonna to come together really, really quick. Y'all are not gonna believe how quick this is gonna be. So I have two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. We are going to get them maybe in our bowl. I love quick and easy recipes and this cheesecake has proven to be one of those, and I am not mad about it. Not at all. Now, my cream cheese has been setting out, coming up to room temp, so it is good and soft. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So we're gonna add, we've added our cream cheese, now we're gonna add in two eggs. So for those of you keeping count, that's a total of four eggs in the recipe. And the eggs are also room temp. And then we're going to put in, we find my vanilla. My vanilla, there it is. We're gonna put in a teaspoon of vanilla. And y'all, I just measure my vanilla on my own. There's that. Last ingredient, if I can get it open. <laughs> Maybe not. There we go is a half cup of sugar. That's it. Half a cup. I've got a quarter cup measure. So we're just going to add that into the bowl. There we go. That's it. 
Now let's get this mixed together. Got my hand mixer out here. Let's just get this mixed together. And voila, just like that. Look how beautiful and smooth that is. I mean, it's got some bubbles, but it's smooth. So let's pull our brownie back over here. Uh-oh, there we go. We're just gonna pour this on top of it, just like this right here. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be epic. You mix my love of cheesecake and Pat's love of everything chocolate, and voila! <laughs> it's the perfect dessert. Mmm, I'm gonna save a little bit so I can have a little taste test. There we go. That'll be enough for me to check out. All right, I'm just gonna smooth that out just a little bit. There we go. I gotta try it. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Y'all, that's delicious. That's going to be delicious. All right, into the 325 degree oven for 50 minutes or until the cheesecake is set with just a little jiggle to it. Y'all, I'm going to start checking this about 40 minutes, okay? So I'm going to get my timer ready to turn on. We're going to get this in the oven. We'll be back. And there is our cheesecake. Fresh and hot out of the oven. It did take mine the entire 50 minutes to set. And there is a little jiggle to it. But it's good. So now we are going to let it set here. I'm going to take it off of this. This uh, baking sheet. And we're going to put it on a wire rack. We're going to let it set here, cool off completely before we take it out of our springform pan and get ready to serve it up. So it should be perfect for dessert tonight. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but it looks like little diamonds falling out of the sky this morning. It's beautiful. Cold. But beautiful. Y'all, it's time to cook supper. And we are going to be making some broccoli cheddar soup. And y'all, I'm hungry. So, hoping this is good. We're going to turn our stove light on to about medium. And I am going to throw in a quarter <coughs> cup of unsalted butter. <coughs> All right, y'all, our butter has melted, so to that I'm going to add, it calls for one medium onion, so I just took, I had a big old onion, I just half it, and we're just going to dump that into our butter, and we're going to let that sit there and cook until it becomes softened and translucent. So we're going to stir that around into that butter. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smells so good. So while that's cooking, I'm going to go get some taters diced up and get them ready to add in here in just a few minutes. All right, our onions are looking and smelling divine. So to this, we're going to add three cloves of garlic, y'all. I'm using my minced garlic. And we are not afraid of garlic. There we go. Maybe just a titch more. Just, I mean, the tiniest of titches. There we go. We're going to kind of stir that around. Woo! That smells good. 
yes. Garlic and onions. Mm -hmm. and we're also going to add in, I've got it over here, about a half a teaspoon of thyme. I am just going to eyeball this. I am not a huge fan of thyme, <laughs> but I use it. I use it. I'm excited about this recipe. Y'all, I ain't never had broccoli and cheese soup with taters in it. But, y'all should know me now. If, if I find out it's got taters in it, we're going to try it. Mm-hmm. Hopefully this will be our new favorite. We're going to try it right in front of y'all. Alright, so we're going to let that sit there. Kind of cook a, just a second. I'm going to see what else we got over here on this recipe. Now we're about to put in a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. We're just going to sprinkle that in. Mm -hmm. There's that. Then we're going to stir this in. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, so good. All right, there's that. Now we're going to go in with a whole box of chicken broth. I'm using reduced sodium because I like to do my own. There we go. Now we're going to stir that. That's going to start thickening up. Give it just a second, start thickening up. All right, now we've got this all mixed in. So now we're gonna add our potatoes. <laughs> we're just gonna put them in. Y'all, it called for two cups of diced potatoes. You could use canned potatoes if you wanted to. I just have some here, imagine that. We're gonna put those in. And we are going to season with salt and pepper. Get my salt out here. Just a wee bit of salt. There we go. That's why I like to use the reduced sodium broth. I want to do it myself. I'm going to add that seasoning myself. There's my pepper, and we're going to stir that in. Mmm, mmm, that smells good. It sure does. Now, we are going to turn our stove eye up. We're going to bring this to a bowl. Because we want to tender up those taters, okay? I have got me a mess going on over here. All right, that's all stirred in. We're gonna let that sit there, let it come up to a boil. Then we're gonna reduce the heat and just let it sit there and simmer until them taters are tender. I think this needs a little more liquid. So I'm gonna add in another small can of chicken broth because I just think it needs to be a little more liquidy. There we go. Now let me stir that around. See what I think about that. I think that's better. Yeah, that's better. 
Those potatoes just didn't have enough liquid to simmer in and boil in, cook in. Just didn't have enough. So, there we go. Are they getting soft? Let's see. They still got a little crunch to them. So, let them sit there and do their thing for a few more minutes. Potatoes are good and tender. So now we are going to put our chopped up broccoli in there. And y'all, I just gave this a rough chop. Just pour it in there like that. Get all this in there. And then we're going to put in a half a cup of heavy cream. The good stuff. Spoon does not want to fit in there. We're going to give this a good stir. It's already looking good. Smells amazing. Alright, so now we're just going to let that broccoli cook down. We're going to give it about eight or nine minutes, something like that, just until the broccoli's tender. So, we'll keep an eye on it. And then it's cheese time. Our broccoli is cooked and softened and it's ready for the cheese. So, uh, the recipe calls for sharp cheddar. All I've got is some mild cheddar. So, we're just going to add this in a little bit at a time. Like so, and I am going to add this whole bag in here. And I've got extra over here if I want to add a little extra. You know, never know. So, mm, that looks so good, y'all. Yeah. It smells amazing. So, there's that. Now we're going to mix this in. Mm. Now, if you want to mash up the potatoes before you add the broccoli, mash up some of your potatoes so that it'll thicken everything up. You can totally do that. I did not. I think mine is going to be thick enough. Just the way it is. I think I'm going to add a little more cheese. Just a wee bit more. Just a wee bit more. I'll leave some in this bag for us to add to the, our bowls. Thickening up. Beautiful. There we go. Alright. Now, I just want to take a little taste test of this. Make sure my seasonings are good. Got me a spoon right here. Get me a little bit of broccoli. is good. All right, y'all. It's time to get this bowled up. Time for us to eat some supper. It 
it's dessert time y'all been waiting on this all day all day this looks so good i'm a little kitchen assistant <laughs> oh now you want to be my kitchen assistant yeah mm. I wonder why. Could it be the cheesecake? Hmm. Mama, mom. Hmm. Hmm. Mama, mom. Oh my. Would I have the pink plate? <laughs> Let me pick this up. See the crest, the brownie crest, and I tore that, taking taking it out of the pan. But, you oh. know, it's perfect for us. Oh, <laughs> Are you having a connection? Jeez. Let's get this cut about. into for this child. It has a full-on connection fit. Y'all, they drive me crazy sometimes. Don't you know? That's going on my plate right there. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Oh, I am working on it. Yes, my piece is done. No, it's Nanny's. <laughs> and I get the small piece. That's the small piece. Oh, that was not a small piece. That's a big piece. Alright, there you go. Yum. Mm -mm. Stop projecting my piece into my camera. It's yummy. We're going to go have dessert, y'all. Yeah.